The Kamara Usman vs. Hamza Shemaev fight had a little bit of controversy where a lot of people do believe that the fight could have been a draw given the second and third rounds and it didn't seem that way watching it live but there seems to be a lot more people who've rewatched the fight and believe the scoring was a lot closer than it should have been. And off a of poll it looks like most of you want to see the breakdown so here it is who really won Kamar Usman vs. Hamza Shemaev. We're going to be looking at the second and third rounds as the first round was easily a 10-8. You don't have to completely destroy someone and almost finish them to get a 10-8. It clearly states in the rules when there's a one clear victor and there's no other argument for the other side, you could give that round a 10-8. 10 8s are a lot more lenient than they used to be. And off of that description, a lot of grappling from Hamza Shemaev. He held his back for a very long time. The most dominant position you can get in grappling. He attacked many submission attempts. Didn't land too many great punches, but he did land some strikes there as well. Kamar Usman barely had any moments in the first round. He was defending the chokes and defending the position the whole time, which gives that round a 10-8 for Hamza Shemaev. We do know that damage trumps all, and takedowns by themselves are not really going to matter much. Takedowns are only completed when you establish an attack afterward, and when you do something to contribute to finishing the fight using takedowns and stuff. So when you see Hamza Shemaev just take Usman down, that actually doesn't mean much by itself. He has to do something with the takedowns for it to count. So let's look at that second round. The first strike that lands is 44 seconds into the round, Usman grazes a body jab. Then he actually lands a very good leg kick that draws on more of a reaction, so this is definitely bigger than just a light attack. Look how the kick blasts his leg inward. Now it's hard to tell if this jab actually lands because of the camera angle, but if it does, it's not going to create too much damage, so we do know that life strikes is not going to tell you who wins the fight. It's only going to be the heavier strikes that are going to matter here. We'll come back to this if we have to. It looks like Usman could have moved his head away with the punch. It's hard to see if the punch ever even creates contact. But if it does, just always remember, it's not going to impact the scoring at all. Now we get a big shot for Kamaru Usman. From the orthodox stance, he throws in a jab. Hamza is southpaw, and the jab gets right inside there, connecting and getting a big reaction out of Hamza Shemaev. Now, it's very strange to see Hamza duck this way, react this way, but he does throw a check right hook, which could have also been a reason why he moved his head so much after getting hit. But we do see that the impact from the punch was definitely pretty big, man. So at the very least, this is going to be a medium attack. But you could even argue because of the reaction from the punch, it could also be a heavy. So I'm going to put it right in between those two. You can't give reactions like that to punches, man. Even if, let's say, Hamza wasn't too hurt from the punch and he was given that reaction because he also did throw the check right hook, the judges are going to see that, right? We can't really tell what's in Hamza's head. We can only tell with what we see. And the judging criteria says reactions and cosmetic damage are the only things that are going to matter because that's all we and the judges can even see. We can't tell if he's actually hurt. Then we get a big body kick from Hamza Shemaev. The targeting of it wasn't the best place. He hits him like in the armpit, latch, chest area. Still hurts for sure, but not one of the vital spots in the body to shut it down, but definitely a big blow. I would say this is a medium attack. If this landed more to the liver or a softer place, this could have caused some devastating effect, but this is why precision is very important. Snap kick to the body from Usman really doesn't cause much damage. Good side kick to the leg from Hamza taking away Usman's balance. Not something that's going to hurt too much, but it does give a better reaction than just a light strike. And just to mention, this Usman jab does not land. It doesn't get to the target. It's short. As you see, the full extension of the punch drops below the chin, never reaches the target. The camera angle can make it seem like he may have landed it, but you can tell when a punch follows through like this and it only reaches toward the chest. The punch was not far enough to land. Leg kick from Hamza when Usman's going in for a takedown. Decent strike. Body jab from Usman as Hamza's moving away from it. No real impact in that punch. Then Usman throws an inside leg kick. He doesn't throw with much power as it does seem like Hamza may have checked it given the angle of his knee. This right hand from Usman may have grazed at the end of it. It's hard to really tell it from the camera angle again as Hamza's trying to move away from the punch as well. If it lands, it really doesn't show any good reaction or impact. A good inside leg kick from Hamza Shemaev kicks out the leg. This I would put between a light and medium strike. Usman touches Hamza with a left straight to the body. 
doesn't really give much of a reaction. Then they both exchange with each other. Hamza attacks him down the center with a jab that doesn't give any reaction. Usman was completely unfazed by the punch. It looked like he never even touched him, but he did. Very light strike. And then Usman throws a right hook over the top, but it looks like the punch may have missed. Hamza was already moving with the punch. He was looking to turn his head away from it and move his body back as the punch just misses Hamza Shemaev. Jab from Kamaru Usman as Hamza's moving away from it. Body jab from Hamza Shemaev gives no reaction. A right straight to the body from Hamza really doesn't give much a reaction from Usman as he's moving his body away from the punch. A side kick to the knee for Hamza Shemaev. And now finally we get to something big. Kamar Usman enters in with a big jab that pushes Hamza's head back and then hits him with a hard right straight behind it. The biggest punch of the round so far. Blasts Hamza away. Then Usman follows us up with a leg kick. A long left straight from Usman snaps Hamza's head back. And then Hamza gets a takedown against Usman. But remember he has to do something with it according to the rules. And then on the ground, Hamza lands three punches. Usman lands one to end the second round. Usman won the round. He won the round. He landed the bigger punches by far. As you can see, tallying up all the damage, the light strikes are very close. The medium strikes are quite close, but Usman landed more medium. And he's the only one that landed a heavy strike in the round. Clearly, Kamar Usman wins the second round by 10-9. That means it's up to the third round to dictate if the fight is a draw or Hamza wins. And then let's go right into the third round. First punch of the round, Hamza lands a jab right from the beginning, snaps Usman's head back. A grazing sidekick to the leg, doesn't give any reaction. A jab from Usman hits the nose of Hamza. Then later he lands a body jab as Hamza also moves away from the punch. Just to mention, this right hand from Usman does not land. It falls short to the target as Hamza is moving away from the punch. Now this is hard to tell because Hamza's shoulder is covering up the punch. But Usman throws in a left uppercut under the arm that may have landed but Hamza doesn't really give a reaction that he got hit by it. Right, His head doesn't pop up or get hit away or something. He ducks his head in fact where if he got hit by this punch his head would move the opposite direction. And then he's moving away from the right hand that's following up and this one he gets hit by more than just a light strike but he doesn't give a big reaction to it he was moving away from it he looks at Usman after then Hamza throws a right overhand that connects with his forearm definitely a bigger punch than the one Usman hit him with and the counter right hand from Usman gets blocked so so far Hamza got the better of the exchange then after shooting a takedown Usman defends it and then grazes a right hand toward the top of Hamzat's head. Head kick from Kamar Usman blocked by only one hand from Hamzat. You can see the impact. The impact does get through, but it doesn't really look like it hurt Hamza too much. As Usman actually lost balance while throwing the kick, which takes away the power. Those knees are really messed up, man. Like, he didn't just lose balance, he actually fell to the ground. It looked like his knees were not stable enough to throw a head kick. If he actually was able to follow through and not fall, this kick would have had some devastating impact. Jab from Kamaru Usman, then they both land on each other's chins, both a variation of their jabs. Usman threw more of an uppercut jab, and and Hamza kind of brought his jab down into Usman's chin. But definitely Hamzat's created way more impact. Usman looked like he got hurt from this jab. Hamza got pushed back from the punch. Usman though was wobbling. So this is definitely a heavy strike from Hamza Shemaev. Usman gave the look like he was hurt. A good inside leg kick from Hamza Shemaev kicks out the leg to the side. Then they both graze punches on each other. Usman grazes a jab as Hamza counters him with a grazing right hook. Then Usman gets his right hand blocked and Hamza misses his counter right hook. Nothing here lands big at all. Everything very light. But then we do get to a big strike from Kamaru Usman. He throws in a power jab that gets a good reaction out of Hamza. Not like the one Usman gave earlier where he was wobbling, but it does like almost halfway sit him down a little bit. Usman lands another jab, doesn't really give a good reaction. Then he follows that up with a back fist. That would be a little bit more than just a light strike. Left overhand from Usman just grazes. Then he throws another left hook that lands with the side of the fist. Soon after, catches him with the left jab again, but he does just miss the follow-up right straight as Hamza slips his head on the outside of it. Inside leg kick from Hamza, 
Really nothing there. It looks like this jab may have landed from Usman at the very end of the punch. Grazing though doesn't give much of a reaction as Hamza was moving his head away from it. Hamza just touches Usman in the face through no power into this right hand. He only used it to set up a takedown. And Hamza gets it, but not before Usman lands one punch in the meantime. Hamza does transition to the half guard. He does put in a forearm choke on Usman's neck. And on the ground, Hamza landed 26 strikes. Usman landed 25 off his back, and while Usman was trying to stand up, Hamza did attack him with a choke, but never really got close. Side kick to the leg from Hamza, it looks like it could have landed due to the reaction from Usman, but the camera angle does not do it justice at all. Jab from Usman just touches Hamza, really no power with it, he was using it to set up the right hand which misses. Both of their jabs seem to miss each other, but they could have grazed. It's a better camera angle on Hamzat's, he could have just grazed it on Usman. It's possible Usman's did as well, but it's not going to impact the scoring at all. Usman throws a left overhand that hits with the forearm, and this right hand at the end from Usman does not land. It touches the hand, but it doesn't hit Hamza to the head. Hamza was turning his head with the punch just in case, and you can even look here, he grabs it as Usman hit him to the hand. Hamza kind of grazes a left hook, very, very slightly. Usman does land a left hand behind the head as Hamza was turning his own head away, so it's not Usman's fault, which means that you can still count it. Usman follows it up with a right hook to the jaw and that ends the third round so that last round flurry in fact almost none of the punches landed. It was wild haymakers no real precision at all. By telling up all the damage this is very very close. We could go back on some of the strikes here like that uppercut from Usman that may have landed if it did it didn't give too much of a reaction it'd be maybe a light it could possibly be a medium so we might have to go back on that because if you look at the numbers here Usman landed 38 light strikes Hamza had 33 and a half light strikes do not matter at all here but the medium and heavy do the reason why the medium strikes are going to matter even though Hamza is the only one that landed any heavy strikes is because the amount of medium strikes Usman landed eight compared to two and Hamza was only credited with one and a half heavy strikes going with that we also do have to credit Hamza with the takedown he did attack when he took him down it wasn't just holding him he even attacked with a forearm choke which maybe a lot of people don't know it's an actual submission and even attacked with a choke on the way up the one on the way up wasn't even close the forearm choke if you actually go back and look at it it was actually threatening Kamara Usman that's just stuff to go on top of what Hamza did on the feet he did get the takedown and we have to remember that too and he wasn't just holding him because he did go for that choke this is very much up in the air this round is even closer than i originally thought the total strikes don't matter the light strikes don't matter we are zoned in on medium and heavy let's look at what the judging criteria says even if we give Usman that uppercut as a medium or in between a light and a medium so let's say he's like eight and a half right for medium it's not really going to change the scoring of this that much what does it say under effective striking quote Legal blows that have immediate or cumulative impact with the potential to contribute towards the end of the match with the immediate weighing in more heavily than the cumulative impact. That is it about effective striking. So the immediate impact is going to trump cumulative, which means the most damaging shot is going to weigh more than cumulative. But at what point does cumulative impact trump immediate? Does it ever? Clearly without debate, the biggest strike of the entire third round was the jab from Hamzat that wobbled Usman. Usman never delivered with a punch that gave the same kind of reaction. Hamza also hit him with that overhand as well that gave a huge reaction too. Those two punches were the biggest strikes of the entire round, bigger than anything else Usman did. But Usman has a lot of medium, that's the only thing. It looks like off the judging criteria, this is not the way I look at it, I'm just reporting what the rules say, immediate impact trumps cumulative. And the takedown and forearm choke were examples of effective grappling because they were connected takedowns without the choke would not matter too much but he did attack a choke when he took him to the ground which means if you have to pick a winner of this round you have to give it to Hamza Shemaev it's very very close me personally if you guys were to tell me that you guys think Usman won this round I can see it as well he landed a lot of medium strikes in this one so objectively scoring it off the judging criteria because of the immediate impact of the jab and that right overhand Usman's biggest punch was probably that right hand before he got hit by the overhand after throwing the uppercut that looked like it may or may not have landed that is not on the same level as the jab that Hamza wobbled him with that overhand that Hamza hit Usman with 
really cracked him, man. Gave a big reaction to the punch. Whereas even the right hand that Usman hit Hamza with, Hamza was also moving away from that punch, which decreases the impact. So at the end of the day, just like most of you guys believe, the judges did in fact get this fight correct. Hamza won this fight by 29-27, winning the first round by 10-8, third round by 10-9, very, very close, and Usman was given the second round. Hamza may have had a broken hand, Usman came off on short notice, there was a lot of things going into this fight that would have changed the trajectory of it. I do believe if this fight was five rounds, I think Usman could have won this, but it was three rounds, short notice, Usman took the fight, no excuses of course, but I would love to see this fight in the future, if it could happen, making it a five rounder, because how close this fight actually was.